Next, we have uh, Natalie Lau. She's the executive director of Appen Matter Foundation. Um, introduce some of the Global AI Hackathon winners. Hi, everyone. I hope you've all been having a great time at the summit so far. We've seen a lot of tools that MIT Raise has been developing to encourage people to explore and play around with AI. And this year was the first time we launched the Global AI Hackathon. So the goal of this competition was to encourage people from across the world to use these free and open source tools to try to figure out what problems they can solve in their communities with AI. And we chose MIT App Inventor as the platform for this competition because it's accessible and free and lets anyone without technical background build mobile apps. So we had winners from all across the world. Uh, we had over 1,000 participants from 91 different countries and regions. And I'm very excited to share with you the presentations of our adult winners this morning. Uh, quick shout out, the student winners will be presenting this evening at the Global Student Competition Track. So please come and attend and see what these high school and junior high school students have built. So first, I'd like to introduce NeoTalk. This is a team project from Japan, and it's being presented by Tomoya Sato, Shitara Kaede, and Dr. Takano Kosuke. Thank you. Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, thank you. We are we are team uh, Nail Talk from Japan. So please relax and enjoy our presentation. Thank you very much for inviting us here. Uh, I'm Kaede Stara and he is Tomoya Sato. We are delighted to talk about our app Nail Talk. And uh, with this app, you can talk with an AI character Nail, who can express emotion just like a human. Okay, uh, recent advances in technology have many benefits. They have allowed us to do many things online. We can hold meetings, attend classes, and even throw the parties. However, technology development has reduced our opportunity to communicate people, uh, communicate with people in real life. If you work from home, you might only talk with your colleagues during meetings or when problems arise. So we share only short time with others, and we don't try to understand others' emotions deeply. This prevents us from building strong relationships with others because our feeling of philosoph uh, sorry, our feeling of sympathy for others is developed only through face-to-face -face communication. So our app provides opportunities to grow our feelings of sympathy, such as face-to-face -face communication. And now can express a variety of, of human, ex, human emotional patterns. We designed multiple facial expressions for now, so that user can easily understand her emotions expression. On this conversation screen, you can talk with Nell to turn on the mic and speak to her. Please watch the demo video. Now, user said hello to her. Okay, sorry, our video is can't. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, we we turn on to uh, speak to her, and he will he will, uh, she will respond back to us with her voice and text. Sorry, and okay. So anyway, can you see your figure in the bottom left? Here, you can check her emotion but her expression had changed. Why? Because human emotions are not always the same as those expressed. Let us consider the following situation. 
if your friend happily spoke to you when you are in a sad situation, how would you react? Maybe you would behave happily or respond subtly according to your feelings. So our, okay. so our idea is to separate emotional expression and emotion. We define two types of the, uh, sorry, emotions. The first one is internal emotion, and the second one is social emotions. Internal emotion is feelings in our, in our hearts. Our app has internal emotion every time Neil talks with the user. Because when someone talks to, sorry, talk, talk to us something, our emotion about it, uh, it, it can, uh, sorry, no, no. What? Uh, Accumulate. Accumulate, sorry. Accumulate, in <laughs> Accumulate in our heart, just like water is poured into a cup. Social emotion is the emotion we express in our behavior. When we talk with someone, we sometimes express emotions that match the emo emotional expression of others. In other words, we adjust how much we express our own emotions by adding up the other person's emotions and our own. So we can calculate that to add internal emotion and a communication partner's emotion. And to adjust the pat patterns of those two emotions changes, our app can represent human-like emotion, varying from person to person. Yeah, thank you, Tomoya. Uh, in this way, we achieved our emotional exchanges in behavior. To build deep relationships with others, our heart will more enrich, and we can live a higher quality of life by interacting with more people. Nail Talk will help you to, to cultivate the ability to build deep relationships. Besides, we have many other wonderful companions they talk with them. This is all our presentation. Thank you for your attention.